everybody and welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well so today is going to be a little bit of a different video than i have done on my channel um today we're going to be reacting to my 23 books to read in 2023 i do not have this documented anywhere else and i have not really consulted this list since i made it um so i'm not really sure what i've read and what i haven't read so today we're going to be checking myself and seeing how well i actually did and how much i actually got read because i have no idea i feel like this is going to be a fun one i feel like i'm going to feel really really exposed so without further ado let's just jump right into it let me get my airpods in and let us let us go all right we got the video all pulled up and let's go i don't remember how to record my screen <laughs> um new releases there's probably let's a see. lot more that i am excited to come out these are just the ones that i have found and that i know of that i'm excited for the first one is hellbent, hellbent by Libra. the first one is hellbent i did read this one and i really enjoyed it i gave it a five out of five i actually read this fully on my phone i've never read a book on my phone solely in such a long time like since the Wattpad days um but this one I can confidently say that I did read and I really loved it and it was so so good we have a day of fallen night by a day of fallen night um I did <laughs> I did actually pick up this book uh a couple times I think I picked it up twice once on my kindle and then one physically from the library and I read a couple pages each time that I got it but I never actually got around to fully reading it so that one is probably going to be pushed back into 24 because there's no way <laughs> that I'm getting to it uh in the last couple weeks of December because today it is the 19th and I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be reading it that behemoth in that short of a time so that one uh definitely <laughs> gonna be putting off again until next year okay what is next we have happy place happy I'm place I have no idea. um still don't know what this book is about um i actually do have this book currently on my kindle i don't know how long of my loan that i have left but i do have it and i have started it um i don't know if i'm going to be finishing it by the end of the year but this one i have started so so far out of three i've read one and a couple pages of another one so not too bad not too shabby up we have a sword catcher by Ooh, sword catcher. I, honestly, <laughs> I did not get to this one at all didn't even think of picking it up um so this one is a no i don't know what i'm gonna get to it i i know lisa she posted a vlog of her reading it i haven't watched it yet but i feel like once i watch that it will convince me to read the book because lisa is just so influential this one i haven't gotten to yet but something that's really high on my list because I love Cassandra Clare, but I don't know if I want to read this one soon or if I want to wait until I catch up on her Shadowhunters books first because I feel like that one is a bit of a higher priority for me because Swordcatcher I'm interested in, but Shadowhunters I really need to catch up because I'm like five years behind. I haven't read anything from Cassandra Clare since uh, Queen of Air and Darkness, so it's been quite some time. <laughs> Mysteries of Thorn Ooh. Manor by Margaret Rogerson mysteries of thorn manor I haven't gotten to this one either i was going to i feel a little bit salty about it because it is such a tiny book it is so small and i feel like there's not much in it and it's so expensive and i can't find it on libby or like anything and i <laughs> i don't want to spend that much money on a little teeny tiny book so maybe if it goes on sale or if there's a paperback or if it does become available on libby i will be reading it um but i do really want more of a sorcery of thorns content and nathaniel thorn love that man so much but i don't know when i'm going to be getting to this <laughs> so that's a bit of a bummer because i was really excited for this one and the cover is so cute we have is oh all of my cassandra claire books i, I want to read two of them right here the first one that i really want to get to is go yeah um i'm just gonna skip this whole section <laughs> because as i just said i have not read any of these so books six through nine didn't get to any of those this year but i'm hoping to do like a cassandra clare catch-up Brittany did some of those on her channel which definitely go check them out because they're lovely but i'm gonna do a cassandra clare catch-up vlog series i think of me catching up on her books because i'm five years behind um i don't know what i was doing <laughs> but um yeah haven't read her books in like five years so i'm really behind but i feel like in 2024 we'll be getting to those not doing so well <laughs> in the series in this video so far dark academia yeah let's this see. is a genre babel, by babel Kwong. I've talked did about not read i started it at the beginning of the year because i was butter reading it with kirsten um that was around the same time that we got cora and then other stuff was happening and i did start it but i didn't finish it um so so far in this video we've started two only fully read one <laughs> out of ten. Oh, i hope that it gets better towards the end because i feel like there's a couple that i have read but i just i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's not looking so good for me right now we have a picture of dorian, dorian gray, gray. I um i did pick up a copy of this book it's actually over there somewhere i got it at like this really cute over like really overflowing bookstore i do have it didn't start it yet by the secret history. the secret this history is, like, did not get to that either i forgot this was on the list i definitely should have put this like 
uh, this list somewhere else that was easier accessible because I don't remember any of these. <laughs> it's deadly Ooh. education. Uh, deadly education. I do have this one on hold actually currently on Libby. So this one, I might be able to read it by the end of the year, depending on when my hold comes in. But this one is considered like a good one. <laughs> um, a good one that I, that's a contender, you know. And that we have the Atlas Paradox. Oh, the Atlas Paradox. Paradox. I was also okay, so I did actually finish um, the Atlas 6 very, very recently. Um, so this one I could possibly be getting to very soon because I do have a hold on Libby. And I'm very, 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 very interested in seeing where the story continues because I did not remember how that book ended whatsoever. This one is probably, I hope, I really hope that I'm able to complete it by the end of the year. But it just depends on when my hold comes in. So Libby. It's really in your hands right now. <laughs> fantasy. fantasy is my favorite genre. I just, I eat it up. Five, Five books fantasy books. books. The first one being Supernova, Supernova by did not get to. <laughs> I love the series. Uh, that one I didn't get to because I feel like I need to reread the other, the first two books before I read this one. I haven't been at my parents' house in like six months and all my books are there. And I feel like physically reading them because I did annotate them. Kind of forgot that it was on this list, otherwise I would have had my dad send it to me sooner. Um, but I really do want to finish up the series soon, and I've heard that Supernova is very good. And I have a dog named Nova that I actually named after Nova here. So, that one, really, really, really want to get to. I'm kind of sad that I forgot about it, because I feel like it would have been really good to read it this year. The fifth, the fifth season, I actually did. <laughs> I picked this one up um, three times, and I got a couple chapters in each time, but then I just kind of did it. I wasn't in the mood for this type of fantasy book. And then I had other holds come in that I was more excited for, so this one got put on the back burner, and then I didn't get back to it in time before it was um, returned. And then there were holds on it, so I didn't get to it. But this one, I'm still really interested in reading. I just don't know when that's gonna happen. Oh, uh, this is a whole series. The Poppy the War Poppy series. War so we series. Have the Poppy War Okay, again, I did pick up the Poppy War. Um, and then this was, I picked it up, I think this was around the time that we were doing our 24 hour readathon and then I was reading other books that I was really excited for um, and I kind of forgot that I had The Poppy War. I do have it on hold again, um, but what I read of it, I really, really, really enjoyed. I just didn't have enough time to because it's a very dense and very heavy book, I feel like. So I feel like I should have given myself more time for that, but I do have it on hold again. I'm not sure when it's gonna be in because there's a lot of people interested in reading it, which is like very warranted because this is like a wonderful book series by a wonderful author. So when I get to Jade City. Oh, Jade City also did not get to that one, unfortunately. Oh, uh, book that total should have read it by now. Why am I kind of really scared for this one? Hunger Games series. I oh, the Hunger Games series. Yeah, did not get to it. <laughs> That's all the books. Um, Hunger Games series did not get to, but it's. I've been really, really, really interested in getting to them recently. Obviously, the new movie just came out for the salad, ballad, <laughs> not salad, um, ballad of songbirds and snakes. And I've just been really, really wanting to get into the Hunger Games because how have I not read it by now? You know, like. Wow, <laughs> I'm a little bit sad at myself because I didn't read, I only read one book off of this whole list of 23 books. And out of the 23 books, I only started like three or four. So I did not do very good <laughs> at this at all. And I really forgot about most of these books on this list. Um, so, you know, kind of upset at myself, but you know, I kind of expected that when I, like even when I filmed this video, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get to these, but these are ones that I really wanna read. And I forgot about this. So if I do do this again, in 2024 i'm definitely going to be planning them ahead in like which month i'm going to read them in because this is ridiculous so <laughs> i set myself up for failure with this one i didn't set myself up for failure but i just kind of forgot what i had on there so that's kind of my bad but for 2024 if i do this again i'm going to plan ahead and pick which months i want to read each book in that kind of like fits the vibes um just so i feel more accomplished and not as disappointed in myself as i am right now like i'm disgusted at myself but yeah, a little bit sad that that's, we only read one book out of that whole list, but you know, it's okay. I started a couple of them, which is good, valiant effort on my part. So that is my very sad reaction and my very sad update on how I did in my 23 books to read in 2023. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys made a list of 23 books you wanted to read this year, let me know how many you read out of them and which ones they were, because I would love to know. Comment down below the book stack emoji. I said that for that video. I'm going to say it again with this one. This book stack is actually all of the failed books. All the books that I have failed reading this year, which is so sad. All of my socials will be linked in the description as always. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.